the front. Big H is definitely in the building. Yeah. Big E is definitely in the building. What up, yeah? My man Dante, little Rothstein is definitely in the building. Yo. Special guest, my man Solo is definitely in the building. And I'm Big Soup, and welcome to Super Spars Sports. Before we get into it, been what, two weeks since we've been here? COVID kind of ran through the squad. We're all doing better. We're all feeling healthy. So we're happy to be back recording, giving y'all the content that y'all need. Again, if you're looking for our Superstars of Sports podcast on YouTube, if you're looking for us on your on your digitals, on your streaming services, Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, you go underneath the War Room Sports. Underneath their banner, you'll find all of our live stream from episode one all the way up to this episode. We're glad to be back. We, also, now you can hear us on the radio, Spin Wax Radio. Coming through you live and direct through spin from spin wax. Only takes only take one thing from y'all, man. We show some love. The only way to show you love is like, comment, share, tell everybody about us. We're trying to do this thing for you guys. Like I said, we're happy to be back after two we weeks. We back. <laughs> we're not back like Cam though. We we ain't gonna revisit that conversation. How I told he was booty, and I got argued down in here that he's great this and that. Um, my rebuttal for that was simply when I talked to him the other day, uh -huh. he said that the scheme that they told him they were going to run before he got there, they switched everything up. You mean like the scheme like playing quarterback? The, no, the scheme. So he, <laughs> so he thought he was signing to be a running no, back no, and somehow... Yeah, the, 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 the Jalen scheme. The okay, scheme. the Jalen scheme. Okay, I got scheme you. Scheme scheme. You, you still sticking to that 12 quarterbacks better than him, H? I, I remember that was one of the things... Hey man, um, what's today's right, topics? You know, um, we move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, since we're moving on, let's move on to your other favorite player in the league. Your boy AB stripping down like he on chipping deals. Mm. Right? A couple weeks ago, we told you he was a cancer to the team and you fought hard and you, you had your little Brady jersey on and you had that Superman cape on. And hey, cuz, pause. I don't know uh -huh. if you fuck my line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what up? What, what, up? what up? Let's be real what up? on this situation that happened. All the way real. AB was an uh, asshole. And a dickhead for how he, whatever the way he left off the field. Okay, but let's be real. We both ain't gonna be oblivious to the fact that there's a bigger story behind the scenes to what what happened between him and Bruce Arians. It everything AB did as what he the way he handled was wrong, but there's a backstory to that. I'm not gonna just you you be you be crazy to just jump on a oh AB crazy like Tampa Bay might not have did something wrong. The bull had the ankle injury. Longer than he had. I know he'd been out there. I know he was running routes. He caught 30 yards, four plays. I know all of that. We all seen that. But if he sat down and said, my ankle is hurt, and it's been proven, and then he getting supposed to get surgery, I don't know about that. That's coming from his camp. They trying to cover up some shit because he was tripping. But Tampa Bay didn't handle that situation all the way correctly. Well, I'm not going to just sit here and say, A.B. was wrong, but I'm not going to just act like Tampa Bay didn't do some things wrong. If you're hurt, you're hurt. Now, he didn't follow protocol and go tell the trainer during the game and the trainer relays to the coach and say, hey, A.B.'s hurt, his ankle turned over, he can't play, and the coach say, all right, he can't get back in. But there was, there was an underlying thing. We don't have Chris Godwin no more. If we'd have had Chris Godwin, they wouldn't give a fuck if, 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 if A.B. was ready to go. There were some things going on behind the scenes there was, was a, the thing behind the scene. There was a lot. He wasn't getting the ball. He wasn't. He was only hurt I because he felt like he wasn't getting the ball. The I'm not going to disputing game. that. Okay. But so I'm not going to sit here and say that Tampa Bay didn't play wrong somewhere handling his situation. How? And I'm a Bucks fan. Because. How? Because. Because. You was when he played the ball. We when, he, had the same the ball injury. he had the same injury the week before when he played Carolina. I, did did I had, ever dispute that? You know, I you never, let me finish? No, no, no I'm not. Because, because, no, you let me finish. You gotta because because I, never, I never disputed you that. Let me finish. Let me finish. So he had said injury, so I'm not disputing that. I'm not. But when he played against Carolina, he had 13 targets and 7 targets. I agree with you. The ankle wasn't bothering him. They lose him to the Jets. He feels like he ain't getting the ball as much as he should. He makes a comment to Brady that I'm not getting the ball. I'm not getting the ball. Then all of a sudden, the ankle is too hurt for him to play. He's I'm a baby. Everything you see He's a baby. H. All I'm saying He's is a head kick. When are you going to sit there and say the Bucks didn't handle the situation rightly? I'm a fan of the Bucks. There's somewhere. What did they do wrong? They wanted. They made a play. Right. You healthy when you're getting the ball, and you're not healthy when you're not getting the ball. H. The dude has is crazy. 
He has CTE. He hasn't been right since, since Vontez Perfect let, let his ass up in the playoffs. If you notice, he was. I ain't gonna go back to that. No, far, because he's been tripping I've been, ever since. I think he's been tripping before that. No, man. he hasn't. The hit, if you talk to all the ex Steelers before I that, hit, that you, he you, was. But you're also going off of everything that you read. They, everybody won't make a joke. Won't make a joke and say Vontae Perfect. Call, cause his injury and cause his CTE. The motherfucker might have already been damaged mentally before that. So him getting hit by Vontae Burfitt might have fucking made it even more. So we're not going to just blame it on. It's a good joke. It's a good meme. It's, it's a good joke. It's a good NFL guy to him. say that Vontae Burfitt caused his dumbass decisions. No. Antonio Brown is a dickhead regardless. I'm never disputing that. What I'm going to you always dispute. dispute that, no, what I'm disputing. <laughs> no, what I'm disputing. No, what I'm disputing. Tampa Bay didn't handle it the right way. But you disputed no, it when we were arguing about the basketball. Yeah. You disputed it. About what? Yeah. Episodes back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I want to get that. That's, that's okay. my man. Okay. But I happily came over. Today, what I'm saying is okay. you're a dickhead. But I believe... So, 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 so you like the Bucks as long as he can play, you don't care. Yeah. No, I'm not the Bucks. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not the Bucks. <laughs> okay. Because I think, okay. I, think, I, think, I, think, I think the Buccaneers as an organization handled the situation wrong. They probably shouldn't have brought them back with the vaccination thing. And I was a firm person over here saying, oh, F that, that's my man. Yeah. Fake vaccination card, let's run with it. Yeah. But they didn't handle it the right way. So you let it become a problem that shouldn't have became. You understand what I'm saying? It shouldn't have got here. You're right. It, it and we and, got here. and Soup tried to tell you it was heading in this direction. Nah, it wasn't. Because that's problem. what he does. Y'all jinx my man. Oh. man. <laughs> no, now we jinx him. Y'all jinx right? He man. even turned his back on your boy Brady. How did you feel about yeah, that? Anthony I didn't like it. He had like Brady it. up. I didn't like that. Oh, you ain't like that part. You ain't like that part. Oh, you had Brady I'm out. I'm sorry, because I'm going to stop doing this. No, no, no. I'm going to cut low, and then you ain't even talk. So you ain't, you, you ain't like that he aired Brady out, but the Bucks still did him wrong, though. Right? <laughs> the Bucks still did him. He, he out there Aaron Brady out and signed him to two different teams. And you ain't like that. But the Bucks still did him dirty. We got you, H. We, we see what's going on here. No, as long as he can catch some, some touchdowns, <laughs> right. H don't care what he do. Right. Right. So right. Now, now he's not eligible to play. <laughs> now he's a dickhead. We yeah. trying to tell you he was heading down this road five episodes ago. Yeah, he's a a, so you know, look at, so uh, looking at the playoff picture, how you feel? The, how you feel about, about the Bucks with the home not being there? Oh, we're gonna be fine. Um, cause uh, we're just gonna be fine. Yo, we, we're not gonna we're not gonna win the Super Bowl this year. That's over. Okay. Not because of A B, because we lost Chris Godwin. Okay. That's just keeping it real. Uh, we'll see, man. You never know what happened, but I don't think we're gonna. Go, I don't think we're gonna go to the Super Bowl. We'll make it to the NFC Championship. I can I can put money on that right now. We'll be there. But we won't win that. You think you'll be in Green Bay? I don't know if Green Bay's gonna win that game mm-hmm. against whoever. They, who, who can they play? Uh, well, uh, when, once we beat y'all, they'll be playing us in the second round. Cool. So they'll beat that game. Obviously, they'll beat it. Okay. So that's to say your dream is your dream is crushed and, and, and reality is set in. Uh-huh. We're gonna beat y'all. Okay. So who would they play? Y'all gonna play the winner of the Niners and the uh, Niners and the Cowboys, I believe. Yeah. yeah. No, so no, let's no. just say where are y'all? So they the two. The Bucks are the two. Packers are the one. Rams Let's take it three, like this. Mm-hmm. Let's take it like this. Let's Cardinals say it's a squad. They'll play the Cardinals. Yeah, so the, so y'all have to play the Cardinals in Tampa Bay. No, I'm more about that. Who the would the Packers Green Bay play? play oh, Packers will play the Cardinals. Yeah, you got to play five. the Rams are four. Y'all are two. Two or three, right? Y'all yeah. are two. So we get the Cowboys. So y'all need to get the Cardinals. So they get a double buy. The, Ram, the, the Packers get a double buy with the new setup. Because right. two plays seven, three plays six, four plays five. Right? So if we're seven, we play two. Right? So let's just say all the top seeds win, right? So that'd be the Packers, the Buccaneers, three is the Rams, and four is the Cowboys, right? Three is the Cowboys, four is the Rams. Right? Yeah. So it'll be we'll the Rams, the Rams, it'll be the Rams, Rams, Rams and we'll the Packers in Green Bay. No. And it'll be the Cowboys in, in inside of Tampa Bay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 So you beat the Cowboys? Ooh, yeah, no, no, you, you said that we're playing the dreamer, right? You're saying all the top seeds. Yeah, we're beating the Cowboys. So then, so then you go into Green Bay then. You think you think you think Green Bay can beat the Rams inside of Green Bay? I don't know. I think the Rams can beat them. Rams are frauds. I understand. I want to say that because that's, I don't want <laughs> the Rams. Do I want to play Green Bay to go to the Super Bowl? No. Like, listen, nah, nah. Right. So I want the Rams to win. But can we beat the Cowboys? <laughs> but y'all not beating the Eagles though. That's the problem. How you feel about us? Uh, I think we have a chance. 
I'm just happy we made the playoffs, to be honest with you, bro. For sure, for sure. Yeah. The way the season started, you know, yeah. with our with our yeah. lollipop coach, like you said, and a quarterback that can't throw. No, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I hate. The, I, I like what I do like about Nick is I like the fact that he subscribed, that he listened to what I said. Right. They changed the scheme. Right. You know? Ball got your cousin on the edges. We, we, we lost our last six, six of eight, whatever, whatever it was. Oh, we, we, we won our last. Uh, so we started two and five. We yeah. finished. We finished nine and eight. So we yeah. finished. We finished six and three. Yeah. So you know what I mean. <laughs> and that last game really didn't count. Yeah, it really didn't count against the Cowboys. We didn't play nobody. Yeah. So I'm like, you know. But y'all ready for us? I, I like Nick now. Why would we not be ready for y'all? We got we we best the people to get ready for y'all. A whole offensive line coming back. And and I think that like the way we play now played, versus versus we played in the beginning of the year is yeah. like night and day. You know we you know you know when we finally started running the ball right it was the second half against the Buccaneers. That's when we really found our identity when we when we, when, we, when they were up twenty eight to six and we made it. So now we just going we just we, we just going latch on the pipe dream. I'm, I'm just speaking facts. I, I mean it's a fact. I man. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. I know you're it. not a big fan of facts. We definitely like, have number one rushing oh, run, run game in, in, um, in the whole number one in the NFL number one rushing touchdown number one big play team. It's going to be raining. It's going to be 45 mile per hour wind, so we don't really have to worry about Jalen. They ain't say 45. Right. I read 22, bro. No, 35 to 45. No, nah, I ain't read 45. I read 22, 22 32. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. But hey, you say I don't like facts. Is, 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 is that shit right? Is that shit right? Is playoff funny play? Yes, supposed to be. Supposedly. Supposedly. I don't know about that. Everything I've been reading off my little Tampa Bay Tribune. Oh, the, the, the oh you subscribe to the Tribune? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> You're an Eagles fan, right? I feel you. All right. I you subscribe you. to everything Eagles, right? I mean, I just know so it. So why wouldn't I be? All right, so why wouldn't I know everything it's hard, Eagles? It's hard to get Tampa Bay news over up here in Philly. No, it's oh, not. Not with Google. 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 You like that pewter? That's the no, that you, Google that makes, makes Google helps you. There was the color that brought you down there? No, man. <laughs> so anyway, what's up with the Derek other games? Brooks played. So, <laughs> so what y'all feel about the, the Cincinnati-Vegas game? I think that can go either way. I think I think Vegas is gonna win. Yeah, I think it'll go either way. I think Vegas is gonna win. I think yeah. I think the Bengals are gonna to, to progress are actually gonna to need to lose this game. Right? All these young guys that got there, they'll get their playoff experience and then that'll make them even more dangerous for next year. It's another quarterback who never won a playoff game is Derek Carr. Yeah, Joe Burrow never really been in the playoffs. Yeah, I understand that. I'm not getting into that yet. I think Cincinnati's gonna win. I just okay. think that uh I don't think the Raiders are you know, I think the Raiders have been they're a solid team, man. They play with a lot of heart this year, despite everything that's been going on with right. them, losing the receiver, coach being a dickhead. So it's a lot of things that they overcame. I don't know if I'm a – I'm more not a believer in Derek Carr. Understood. So, you know, that's how that goes. With that being said, I just think – and I think that Joe Burrow is on to something. Whatever he got cooking on his pot in his life, whatever he doing his game is working. Yeah. I think that whole team is working. Whatever they're doing is working. I just think they I think they could beat the Raiders. I, I don't think they're going to go any further than that. So that's to say they beat the Raiders. They won't go further than that. Right. But I think no, they could no, beat no, the no. Raiders, man. I don't know. I, I think if they do win, I think they're the sleeper in the playoffs. I don't Them and Tennessee. I think people... You think Tennessee is a sleeper one, as number even one Even though they're the number one seed, I still think... Because people... Kansas City, you know, they're hot right but now. But Kansas City has been showing a lot of weaknesses Buffalo this year, was, so I can understand. Buffalo started the year was the Super Bowl. Uh, they also tradition. have been showing a lot of weaknesses, little areas of concern. With Derrick Henry back? I don't know, man. I, I see a, a Tennessee see versus Packers in the Super Bowl. So, so the second game out on Saturday, I believe, is the Bills and the Patriots. What do, what do we see there? For, for shits and giggles, I'm going to go with the Patriots. I wonder why. Just because so about that. It, 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 no, so you got a little bit of blue in you. I'm not. A, I've never been a New England fan. But if I can get, the tr- if I can get what the TV ratings will love is yeah. a, is, is a New England, England and the Buccaneers <laughs> Super Bowl. That's it. Yeah. I have no dog in the race. I, I, think, I think. I mean, none of us do. We're just asking what you think will happen. Yeah. So I, just for shits and giggles, yeah. New England. I think. I think the Bills are gonna run away with that. I think the Bills really <laughs> should. They I should. think they need to. They should. They for their, need for their to. Psyche, yeah. They need to. Yeah. To, let the, to let the Patriots know that they are they are the man in the division. Yeah. 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 Big dog yeah. So, 1 o'clock, we got the Eagles and the Bucks. We already discussed that. 4 o'clock, we have the, uh, Niners, the, and the Niners and the Cowboys. I'm picking the Niners just off of GP. I fuck think the Cowboys. Over it's always like, going to be yeah. fuck the Cowboys. You'll never pick nobody. The I'll Cowboys never pick the Cowboys doing anything. But I really do football-wise think that the 49ers are going to get them. With their full arsenal back, I know Jimmy G is is, is a suspect quarterback. Yeah, I was about to say he just not he not consistent. He's not consistent enough. But that running game, that running game, George Kittle, 
and just the things that Ayuk and Debo can do with the ball in their hands. You know, it, Michael, I mean, I got love for Michael Parsons. I know he's a Cowboy, but he went to Penn State, so I, I root for him. He's a beast. I, but I just, think, I just think that running game for San Fran is actually going to control the game. You got Michael Gallup out now <clears throat> for the Cowboys. Don't know how healthy Pollard's going to be. You said the, the what? The what's going to control the game? The running game for the Niners is going to control the game. Yeah, I keep telling y'all, man. You know, I was on your side when you said about the running game. I'm just saying for the, I want, I want all the coaches in the NFL to hear me. Take it back to the old days, man. So if you ask me, I man. they airing the ball off of ratings. If you ask you know me, man, for my team, <laughs> 49 to win this game. Because <laughs> they're going to go to Green Bay, right? <laughs> so, yeah. we beat y'all. Well, there's no way y'all can play the Packers <clears throat> until the NFC until the Championship game anyway. Yeah. Just the way y'all see it. And I think the 49ers could beat Green Bay because didn't Green Bay have a little problem with them this year? They had to go to overtime, I think. Because I had a little money on that game. Yeah, I, I was the uh, 32nd rule. Uh, Not 32nd rule. 32nd is uh, Rogers pain. We took 30 seconds to get downfield. Yeah. Get field, so, but, but that was in San Fran, though, I think. Was that, did that game go? That's where the Vontaze had Jose play, though, right? Was that game tied and he had to do that to win the game? No, they were down, I think, one or two. Packers? And Crosby went down and kicked All right, so... So, the 49ers took him to the but Packers. That was in San Fran. Yeah. That was in San Fran. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. different when you're in Yeah. Game. I just hope they got one. From there. And they're deep. They're playing good. The easiest route for me to Super Bowl is for them to go. <laughs> they go over there, and they, and they somehow upset Green Bay. So, we got Sunday night. We got the Chiefs and the Steelers. Big Ben Swan song. Get the Ravens out of here. It's going to be an easy game. Mm-hmm. Caught him a Ravens. It's, 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 Allegedly. I'm not a legend shit. I'm calling. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, I don't care nothing about Benny. I just I think it's gonna be an easy game for this for the for the Chiefs. I don't think the Yeah, I'm thinking over and throwing. Steelers offense is <clears> not. <throat> Look, I, I got all the strength in the world for the Steelers. Defense, TJ Watt is the beast. They 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 play defense over there. But that that dink and dunk offense with, with Ben's broken arm in, in Kansas City on a Sunday night, it's gonna it, 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 it might be close until halftime. Does TJ Watt? So. Yeah, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give Ben the respect to say it's gonna be close to halftime. Yeah, because I, I feel like that young boy. He turns up. He turns up in these big games. I like, I like young boy. Yeah. Does TJ Watt get Defensive Player of the Year? I think so. I think so. He ball. I can't. I didn't say nothing from him. He ball. I, I mean. I mean, I have an unpopular opinion about someone else who thinks. Thanks, uh, I don't say, well, my unpopular opinion is I honestly think Aaron Donald is overrated. Now, uh-huh. I know he gets all the He shows things. up, though, yo. He doesn't show up. That's the problem. Yo. He does not show did, up. Did you see him Did you see him this week? Yeah, when they lost? Yeah. When they blew when they blew the lead to the 49ers, they let the 49ers into the playoffs mm-hmm. to make us play the pack, to play the Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen the game. To me, Aaron Donald is, I'm not saying he's not a good player, right? So there's two different ways you can look at it. I'm not saying he's a bum. I'm not saying okay, he's trash, okay, okay. but I am saying he is, okay. he's overrated. He's he, overrated. Okay. he is overrated. He doesn't uh, affect big games the way that he's supposed to with, the, with all the accolades. Yeah, he'll light a he'll he'll light a bad team up for three sacks. So you'll see a little TikTok video of him picking the offensive lineman up and chucking them to the side. But it comes to really really affecting the game. There's a reason why they had to go get Von Miller and all these other players because to me Aaron Donald is overrated. He's a great defensive player. I'm not taking any away from that, but to be one of the mentioned with the all time guys, I think he's overrated. This is one of the reasons why the Rams seem to always underperform. Um I agree with you, but I'm not gonna put their underperformance solely on Aaron Donald. But I, I definitely agree with you on everything else you said. Because when they play better teams, like I don't hear his name. He no, I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, he might have stuff a little running in the backfield to play here and there. Yeah, but I, I just feel like I just feel like because of how good he is, he, he receives that double and triple coverage and stuff like that. Oh, you he definitely makes up. He definitely makes up the team, but just their yeah, offense towards you know him. What I'm saying? Well, but he still has no answer. I don't know. But I also agree with you. If, if, you, you, check the, if you check the Los Angeles Rams' rush defense over the last five years, they're never near the top. So people are running at him. They are running right at him. But, but, but how many people? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Playing that position, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. His impact, I, yeah. his impact with the, as big as his name is, doesn't match up. Right. I, I, I remember. Agree. I remember big you know, playing defensive right? tackles. Yeah, I know he oh, likes. I, 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 I see. You know what? You know what's crazy? And I know he just beefed against the Bucks. I see Vita Vey cause havoc in games is busy, in yeah. big moments. Right. I've seen All Pro defensive That's tackles to be. I've seen. Jerome Brown straight up wreck shot game. Yeah, you know, I seen John Randall but, but, from the but you mentioned that name that Jerome I seen Brown. Cortez Kennedy. But what I'm saying, when you mentioned certain Cortez names, who else is on these lines though? Huh? But but McFarlane. McFarlane. No, but I'm, I'm going to No, but that's but what I'm McFarlane. saying. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just feel like, listen, I'm not arguing with y'all, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying, my point is, 
I feel like when you when you get a name like that, mm -hmm. like you said, teams start planning for you. Yeah, yeah. So no, that, that increases your numbers. You understand what I'm saying? But, that's but, how, that's but how also, I even like Fletch. Fletch is my man. Okay. But I feel like teams plan, they plan for Fletch. Mm -hmm. They plan for him. I mean, he's a little older, too. He's no, a even, even before getting old. But I feel like once we got a beefed up line, Fletch yeah. because it's like, damn, who we going to guard now? No, no, you know teams, teams, teams definitely the Rams had that, too. They teams, had Robert Quinn. Robert teams, Quinn just broke the Chicago Bears sack record teams, this year. Like, Robert Quinn was with the Rams for multiple years. Teams definitely Do you think he's getting that without Aaron being there, too? Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. I think that then they played for him. Um, no, he played for Chicago this year. So, and Robert Quinn had like 19 sacks this year teams in Chicago definitely play, without Aaron Donald. Teams definitely playing for your best player. But the point being is even your best player who gets playing for your, your, your Reggie Whites, your Bruce Smiths, your, 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 your guys now, Lawrence they, Taylor, they're, Taylor. they're going to still get their rocks off. Yeah. And he's not getting his rocks oh, yeah. off. So I, I agree I with you. Too, like a team is planning for it to attack him, to stop him and neutralize mm -hmm. him. But he's not elite because he's not getting off that like Reggie did or some of the great defense. Or, or, or the ball over in Cleveland. Or TJ Watt. TJ they Watt. getting off. Marcus, uh, what's the ball? Garrett over in yeah, Cleveland? Garrett, no, they getting Miles off Garrett. that and still getting busy. He, for some reason, is not getting off that plan and getting busy. Teams playing for Miles Garrett. They playing for TJ Watt. It's unsuccessful. But with Aaron Dotto, that's why yeah, I agree with you. You, you, you think we got the league is unsuccessful against every dude you name? Huh? You think week after week is unsuccessful with every dude that you name? Yeah, with TJ Watt, it was unsuccessful this year for every team. <laughs> every, every team this year was unsuccessful. I he just, went, he again, went off with everybody. I, I'm not this year. really trying to sit here and, 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 and decrease his value by saying he's You're not, though. Ball. I'm just saying the accolades that they tried to mention him with, I just don't see it. No, because I agree. At my age, right? You know, at my, I've seen other Hall of Fame defensive tackles. And for me, he, he just lacks a little something. And see, another thing, too, is, I mean, in his defense also, I feel like the era that we grew up in, it was, like, full defenses. No, you're right. Full defenses. I mean, but... Like, like, like you we, like, we like, like, play the games, you can say you can have more sacks now no. because teams pass but more. So no, 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 but I'm even saying, like, every dude that we named, them whole defenses was good. Every dude you named. Well, they got, the, they got, the, got, the, they best corner, they got the best corner on the team. On the you know what I'm saying? They got the best corner in the league. I mean... Yeah, they got they, they got, got Jalen I kind of feel like a corner, a corner besides like if, if you talk about like somebody Reggie White, it's like that whole defense was goofy. Right. Like, no, like, I agree. Mean, like, you know right. what I'm saying? That's the all time of the all time. But like, you know even what even we right. say, let's say we say Cortez Kennedy, right? Seattle, right? With Seattle, right? Seattle, there were not a lot of other defensive right. players in Seattle. Booger McFarland when he was in Tampa Bay, Tampa. that was before Simeon Rice and yeah. Tampa. Bay. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So yep. John Randall, Minnesota, he had Keith Millard and maybe Chris Dolman. Yep. But you know he he did his own thing, like. They're, I'm just saying that they, I just don't put them at that top of the top of the top notch that some of these prognosticators. How many years have you been in the league so far? Aaron Donald? Ten. Yeah. Ten. Really coming out of the I thought it was seven. And even with that, maybe you get oh, old. Wow, maybe maybe you lose the stuff. I mean, I, I'm just saying. It was just, it's just, a, it's just an unpopular opinion. He just, I know he, he's a, he I don't like the hype. I'm not the guy I was ten years ago. He don't like the hype. <laughs> no, but, he, but it is because he don't like the hype behind Donald. Yeah, just to me, it's a little too hype. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little too hype. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I, I'm, not, I'm definitely not the guy I was saying years ago. So, so Aaron Donald, know. there, who we think will win between the Cardinals and the Rams? I think the Rams going to pull that out. I like the Cardinals. I think the, Dude, Card I think I like the, the Cardinals. Cardinals are very inconsistent. I want to say the Cardinals are very inconsistent. Without DeAndre Hopkins, man, that offense is enough. Very inconsistent. You know, I, I got to, you know, the heart going to root for the Cardinals because Zach Ertz is over there. So you you already know why I'm rooting for him. I, I like little... Quarterbacks, quarterbacks that run around. Yeah, I, like, I like the little guy. I got this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to see him. Yeah, Ooh, that's a tough one. So you said you said you so you said put a a, a, a T and a B in the back. I, I don't think he's over there. Yeah, he got yeah. a T and a B. Max White sucks. <laughs> Who's line sucks? Yeah, that's Marty. It's terrible. I think every quarterback in the league gonna cry that one. Kyler Murray got come up with better one than that one. I just don't. I don't know. It's something about this game. Like, I don't Wilson's like. Wilson's not. So Wilson's I, not trash. I don't think Kyler Murray is overrated. But what I do think is to Soup's point, them small. Every year he starts out on on fire when he's completely healthy. Mm -hmm. He gets hurt. once he gets hurt, his game. If you take away that athleticism, if you take away that that un, that those plays that you can't plan for as a defense, once those get go away, then he just becomes that. He, he regular, yeah. He regular. He he, he into and movie. it's two years in a row. They the the Cardinals, the team, and him started out hot. Last year he had the shoulder injury. This year I think it was the ankle injury. And once the injury is coming, he's just too small. He's a shortstop. He's a you yeah. know he got drafted in the first round of baseball for a reason. He's a shortstop playing yeah. playing quarterback, running around like that with it. that. That is what has made Russell be able to last this long. Russell, even though he used to be able to scramble, he never took hits, mm -mm. and that's what has prolonged mm -mm. his career. He, he don't. 
Yeah, he'll you know, be quick. Be quick to run out of bounds. He'll be quick to like Lamar wants to get as much as he can, right? Wentz, when he was at his peak, trying to do it, he wanted to get as much as he can. Kyle wants to get, like Russell will get down. Even Josh Allen will get down. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? There's just something about Kyle. He just gets hurt, and then the whole offense just goes goes to hell because it's so predicated on his unpredictability. Yeah, his athleticism. Yeah. That's why I like him. That's yeah. why I like him. Yeah. And, and if DeAndre yeah. Hopkins is not playing this week, I just don't think they have enough firepower. To, and I'll put it like this. I want them to win. Put it like that. I'm yeah, I, I, want I want the Cardinals to win, too, because I want Zach Harris to go as far as he can. Yeah. But I don't. I just don't see it. I think, yeah. you know, Russ, I think is overrated. I think Lamar Jackson is overrated. Oh. Mm. I think he's like, like, all your family members. And guess what? No, I agree with him. <laughs> I think he's a big 2.0. I agree with you. I think once, once every year. Now, I'm not saying he's bad, but I think people criticize him as a little over too much because I feel like what Miami did to him that uh, regular season, I feel like he's going to go to the playoffs maybe every year. But I just feel like when he plays that real defense, that, that a real coach that knows how to stop a running quarterback, I don't think he's ever going to win the Super Bowl. But you don't, like, you don't like what happens every year. So you don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't think there's a problem over there to be coaching? No. Well, okay. no. I think they need a, another receiver, in my opinion. GM, is he going to throw it to him? You think he's a good thrower? I don't think he's a good thrower. That's why I think. No, he's he not. And I like that. I like Lamar. Like, he got, like Lamar. He got like, some stuff I, he got to work on. I think he's a little too overrated. He got some stuff he got to work on. If he can fix his throwing, then yes. Or like, they need to take something out of Sirianni's book and just start turning into a runoff. I mean, all, all but you got to have it there to do all, it. All Miami. They got to have it there to get it. Get them. All Miami did was take the playbook from what the Vikings did when we had Vic and just instituted the same defense. They just kept bringing a slot blitz with a mm-hmm. corner. But the cornerback is fast enough to chase Lamar down from yeah, the back. Yeah. Lamar is not advancing yeah, enough. They're chasing him down, though, too. Chasing him down. crazy. Yeah, we chase him down, and he just and he just wasn't advanced enough in his passing to be able to read the defense and consistently hit the hot read behind the blitz. I mean, that don't look like when a lion chased down an animal. Yeah, I mean, crazy, they were just yeah. bringing they were bringing corners of safeties off the edge, and that's exactly when Vic won when Vic won the comeback play of the year in 2010 when we went to the playoffs. We our game got postponed from Sunday to Tuesday. They had Joe Webb as their quarterback. The only player they had on offense was Adrian Peterson, but Leslie Frazier. A great defensive coordinator had an extra couple of days to work on it. All he kept on doing was blitzing Vic off the edge with it with a corner, mm-hmm. and that and that shut everything down. And then the Packers took the same defense when mm-hmm. it came time for the playoffs two weeks later, and that's what got us up out of the, out of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, and that's what got us out of the playoffs. Yeah, I think um like I said, he he just got to work on. So he, he he's a good quarterback. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but yeah. his athleticism is what's keeping him. Yeah, he has a ceiling. Right now, he has a ceiling. Mm-hmm. And until he becomes a better, a better passer, mm-hmm. all the athleticism, the escapability, the unpredictability, they're all great. They work when you got to play Houston in week three. But when you come in time for the playoffs where you where, where the windows are tighter, the mm-hmm. intensity is more, mm-hmm. the coaching is better, then the the ability to not be able to throw from the pocket is what comes in. I understand hurts. what you yeah, said. I'm not it's, it's sound like mm-hmm. you put more of the blame on him than you are some of that coaching and GM. Because you got to make, make the throw. You got to make the decision. You got to make the decision. Make the throw. I agree. Do I got to have some around it too? He do have to. He do good. That team's solid, yo. That team's solid. We're going to leave it that team. Baltimore's solid. That team's solid. This is him making a mistake. Are they a perfect team? No. Do they probably need a bigger receiver to go along? Should they have a coach? Yeah, yeah. Coach, the guy won two better Super Bowls. GMs? I don't a better GM. Oh, H, you are the fuck tripping. Who has run a better organization than the Baltimore Ravens in the last 15, 20 years? Why don't he got no weapons, man? He do because he's not good enough to utilize them. Like now you want me to now I'm gonna talk like I don't like him. The problem is his passing. He's not a good enough passer. It's the same thing I say about Hurts. Yeah. But Jamar he, Jackson but, is not a good enough. He has gotten so better. Baltimore has weapons. They got great coaching and great GM. And Lamar who, Jackson who is, is, a is the Mark reason Adam. why Baltimore. No, got no not a failure. Did you watch the playoff no, losses? I, I want to say have you watched the? I just want to some friends. Hey, hey, we're not. We, you're not speaking the algebraic equation to me. Bottom line is simple. You're saying that he has weapons, a good coach, an adequate GM and going over there, yes. and that all the su- unsuccessfulness they had is due to him. Okay, we're going to leave it there. That's all I wanted to hear. You're not talking no foreign language to me, guys. I see the same thing you see. Let's just make sure that you blame it more on him than you do his surroundings. I just don't dis- I disagree a little bit. I think his surroundings ain't been the best. But if you say he can't pass the ball and he ain't been doing this, okay, cool. I don't believe that, though. I believe that he don't got the best weapons around him. He mm-hmm. does have a great GM, but I don't think they got him 
Hollywood Brown and all that. Yeah. So, so I, you no, subscribe to the Baltimore Times too? No, <laughs> I subscribe to watching TV, watching football like he did. Yeah, they could possibly have the best tight end in the game, right? They could possibly have the best tight end in the game, right? Not yeah, better than Brock. Yeah. 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 Let's this say he top five. He top five. I didn't say that. No, he top five. I didn't say top five. Right now, they got a nice tight end. They got Rashad Bateman, who's right? Mark Andrews, Mark Andrews, right? Nice. Nice. They they have the offensive coordinator. You know who their offensive coordinator is? He's he's. Had they not been... Uh, Listen, I talk. Their back, offensive man. coordinator is the same exact offensive coordinator that was in San Fran when they took Kaepernick to the Super Bowl. So this guy has been running this offense that, with this same... Like, Greg Roman. Greg Roman. Greg Roman. Greg Roman. Greg Roman. He's, this type of guy. He's, yeah. been, he's been running this offense for for a myriad of years. So it's not a, a, a coordinator that doesn't know what he's doing with this talent. He was Colin Kaepernick's offensive coordinator. With the Harbaugh brother, so he's been so he's been with a Harbaugh, so with their same type of time, their same type of offensive scheme, the same type of quarterback, the same GM that has drafted guys from from Ray Lewis all the way down to Lamar Jackson. It's the same front office. There's not been a model of consistency as a franchise. What makes Greg Baltimore Roman Ravens. so great? Because he had one little success. I didn't one. say he's so great, but there is no other person though. in the league that can coach Lamar Jackson better than what he does. We don't know that, but I, I he I, took he took Colin Kaepernick to the Super Bowl running the same offense. Yeah, he had, he had power running game. Who were their receivers? When they Michael the Crabtree. That was it. <laughs> solid receiver. Who was? Okay, so was. solid. Was Bolden on that team? Who? Bolden was on that was team. Was Anquan Bolden on that team? Mm-hmm. The Bolden. old Anquan Bolden. Mm-hmm. Guys, Guys, now we're getting specifics. The old Anquan Yeah, the old oh, yeah. He was balling he that year. He was, he was balling that year. And they had stats. Frank Guys, Gore. He was, and he was balling. And Vernon Davis. And he was balling. And why was Guys. he balling? Because Guys. of the fucking offense. Because of Kaepernick. You keep, you keep. Because of the offensive right, okay. game plan. Because Kaepernick could actually throw besides fucking running. All right. All right. That's what I'm trying so to tell we you. Be, all right, we're going to just say. He's almost like, you know what the we Ravens are? Here we go. We're going to love, gonna love this, right? You know what the Ravens are with Lamar Jackson? They're kind of like the Sixers with Ben Simmons. You're going to get to that second round of the playoffs, mm-hmm. but you just ain't going to yeah, be good enough to get past that. Yeah, you're not going to get over around. You're not. See, I'm going <laughs> to, you know, again. And now listen, though. I think that with some tuning, he'll be better. He'll oh, yeah. Be, yeah. He's tuning, though. In, in the three years he's been in the league, he has already gotten remarkably better. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still not on that level that when you get to that second he's play all weekend. Yeah. He's tuck and run, y'all. When you get to that second so play all weekend. So you think if he had an adequate receiver, let's just say he had like a Stephon Dick, you think he's still going to tuck and run? No, I think it will be I don't know if he can get on the ball. Let's just say he, let's, let's just say he had a better running back. A consistent running back. Because in his years of being there, he had nothing but a rotation of a fucking butt. An old ass Mark Ingram, I don't give a fuck about him and whoever else we want to say. Let's just say he had let's say let's say he had let's say he had a Jonathan Taylor. You think you really think this ball is gonna be second round, guys? And Jonathan Taylor is gonna be Jonathan Taylor and Lamar Jackson. Not if the coaching don't change. Well, he might have I, think that, and I think that <laughs> I think that Jim who's the job, right? I'm saying the one. I think that John Harbaugh has run his course. I think they need a new coach over there. I think they need a new system over there. Yeah. I think that a new system, the system is tailored to him. So you need I, think a new coach, I think the coach has overstayed his welcome over oh, in Baltimore. He's going to get rid of the coach. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm, I'm not saying that because oh, with all that, with, they've had more injuries this year than team and they were in the playoff fight until the last week of the season. They got knocked out of the playoffs in week 18. And they were on their second straight that. running back. They didn't even have Lamar Jackson. I still think that, that they, coach, had, they had. He's not the right coach for Lamar Hundley? Jackson. Guys. They had the ball Hundley. Hundley threw over three hundred yards in this offense. So right I don't want to be that ball. I don't want to be that Gardner Minshew, Jalen Hurts ball. But if Hundley can come in and throw for three hundred with the same no weapons, how come Lamar's not? It's either the coach or the OC over there that got to go. Okay. Okay. So one of them got to go. So maybe the coach stays. So we're going to do. You said I wasn't talking the algebraic equations, right? But we're going to solve for X. Right, so you have one quarterback with with the same exact weapons who can't can barely throw over two hundred yards. You take that quarterback out because he's hurt. You put in his backup with the same weapons. No other else is changes. Wide receivers are the same. Tight ends are the same. Seven string running backs the same. Head coach is the same. Offensive coordinator is the same. Just a different quarterback. And this quarterback is running for seventy but throwing for three hundred. He talking right. When will we ever get the answer? He talking right. Other than that, it is what it is. Again, <laughs> it's just my fucking opinion. We can go to trial all day. Yo, we can talk and go to jail on my shit. You can sentence me. I think the coach or the OC got to change. You can go ahead and produce 
all your fucking answers to everything. Okay. I'm going to still sit here, uh-huh. solid as I ever been, and say. As you should. They either need to change the coach or like, the OC. I like what you're doing, though. Because you like, got a I like, young... I like what you're doing, though. I like what you're doing. You got a young talent over there. Yeah, I like what you're doing. That either you're going to stay with this coach and forever go wherever you go, <clears throat> or you're going to... Whatever. But I think change one of them, and I think it might bring success. Now, if you change one of them and it don't bring, your point is ever so valid, and I can just sit here and say you're right. <laughs> Y'all heard it first? But like, This is the first original argument on our first Definitely he original he, argument. He just arguing just to argue. <laughs> he just arguing just to, this is just the best of views right now, y'all. Nah, this ain't he sound crazy. crazy. No, it's not for you. I think <laughs> it's, I think that with this right, coach cool. he will never he will be what you say, but I think he needs a different coach. I think he's a better quarterback than that. I just think he needs a better coach, man. Or a better OC, man. So Def- um, GM OC something. He needs more weapons. I think he ain't got no weapons. Okay. I, 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 Mark I, Andrews is nice. Believe, I can't hear you. I mean, he's the no, one that said that Lamar Jackson's overrated, so he's about to backtrack no, his own argument. No, I, I think that, right? I'm, he's good. I just think the way that they talk about him, he's a, he's a little too overrated. Yeah, I do believe some, that they said this up in the backyard. I do believe <laughs> 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 I just think the way that they talk to him, saying oh, he's top five and all that, I just think he's it's a little top overrated. Top. Especially not with Deshaun Watson as a play. So, so, yeah. right, so y'all two going into the New Year's New Year's and just ain't shipping in. They say so, yeah, they went into the New Year's and ain't shipping in. Yeah, after the COVID got to the yeah. New Year, after the COVID yeah. got their yeah. brain cells fucked up. Oh yeah, speaking about that COVID, yo, how what were y'all symptoms? How was y'all feeling? Like, what, uh, what was so, yo, all of us had COVID except for Harry. And I think the Harry only unvaccinated yeah, one. I think he had it though. I think Harry had it. I think he was just hiding that shit. Yeah, he was masking it with with, with some with some greenery. Song, I heard you were feeling ill. Yeah, everybody wanted to tell me got to get the car, get the car, and I ain't cough or sniffle or nothing. Okay, man. so uh, I'm fully vaccinated. I got I, I got it. I think it was from inside here. I was also at two middle <laughs> games. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I, I was getting on the COVID like. I was on two. I was in two <laughs> Eagles games at the same week, though. So I was playing pity pat with the COVID. I could have got it from anywhere. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, being fully vaccinated and overweight, the only symptoms I had was just just a nagging cough. Me too. I didn't I have, have nothing else. And, and it wasn't even nagging. It was just a cough. Yeah, like if I took Dayquil or Nyquil, the cough would go away. But Meanwhile, soon, my responsible stuff don't go. No get. No gatherings bigger than five people. Uh-huh. I'm not out nowhere to That's risk getting like nothing. Nah, not everybody. Oh, loves you. <laughs> you, you go in there and ask people why they fried chicken. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I want some big chicken. You, you that for? Bottom line, man, stay in tune with us, man. We back, we back, we back. Yeah, we'll definitely see y'all next week. Yeah. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Yo, he got to give me a cheese steak when the Bucks beat them. Oh, we got yo, we got the bet going. Shake on camera. Oh man, it's easy shake. Yeah, hey, y'all I don't know. even want no points. I'm taking straight. Forget up. everything I said today. Well, I was whatever. Yeah. Bucks will beat the Eagles. I'm going to have me a sandwich on y'all. Okay. Have a bag. Let's go, y'all. Oh, no, no. Come on, A.B. Come on, A.B. Don't do it to him, A.B. Don't do it to him, A.B. Come on. Let's go. Superstars of Sports Podcast on YouTube. You can find us on Google Play, Spotify, Apple Music, live streaming on Spin Wax Radio. We're going to show up and tell people about it. Bird Gang, baby. Bird Gang, get this brand new shit out of here. Get that shit out of here. Uh, Five, four, three, two, one. How you doing, everybody? We're going to be doing the playoff picks for the NFL only, specialty of playoffs. Uh, first game, um, it's kind of iffy. I do like the Raiders. Now, Joe Burrow kind of struggled against Oakland on um, last second play. Now, I know they blew him out 32-12. So... But he threw, he only threw for 140, and um, uh, reports saying that T. Higgins might not play this week. Now, I know they have Jamar Chase, but I think people are downplaying the Raiders a little bit. They got Waller back. Um, their defense is the 13th uh, defense for passing downs. I mean, it's you not, my man and everything, not, but I don't agree with you. Look, You're tripping. Look, Bengals going to beat them. I do think they win. Look, all right. But I'm, I'm, but I'm taking. Out, I could because I didn't like his assessment. Okay. If two hands do play, I like Bengals minus five. Thank you. If he doesn't, the spread has went up. I mean, has went down from six and a half to five. See, I might you take real fucking information. No, that's my man. He gonna get you to win. He gonna get you to win. <laughs> but I didn't like where he was going in the beginning. He was you giving too, too much props to the Raiders. Bengals gonna smack him down. But I like you. 
Mixon's a little little banged up. Yeah. But, you know, if the Bengals' defense can show up, I do think they win. But right mm-hmm. now, if T. Higgins is not playing, I like Oakland five and a half plus. Ooh. They can still lose, but I think it's going to be a close one. Next one, I like the Bills versus the Pats, minus four. It is Belichick, but they're going to be in Buffalo. Josh Allen, last time they played, he was 30 for 37, 300 yards, three passing touchdowns. I like I like the Bills. I like uh, Still got a little love Matt Jones threw for uh, two picks last Boy. time he played in Buffalo. <laughs> if you can just stop their running game, they blow them out easily. I like them minus four. <clears throat> minus what? Minus four. Minus four. It's four, gonna be four, a, it's gonna be a close one to, to to start off, but I think later on through the game, Buffalo uh, comes out on top. And they just played last week, didn't it? Nah, oh, they the played week like that, three right? weeks ago. Yeah, in Buffalo. Um, next one. I'm riding with Big Hurts. Oh! Plus nine and a half. <laughs> Soup cousin. Cover the spread. Be, uh, it's going to be a rainy day. Very rainy. Um, and it's going to be a windy day, too. They said winds up the yeah, 15 right, miles. Yeah, which means we ain't got pants. You don't got, you don't you know got you're going to pass. Slay's going to be on Mike Evans the whole game. Mm. Uh, <laughs> he plays Slay. All right. Hey, this is the number one corner that, that, that loves y'all. Oh, Check the stats. Tell me, man. Check the stats. <laughs> no, we, we, we get to it. We get to it. Let the picks come. We'll get so to it. So just got excited about Darius Slate covering and Mike Evans. That's right. I mean, you only got Gronk. I ain't worried about Gronk. Yeah, tight ends been killing y'all all year long. Actually, they have. Right. It's been the running back. Check the stat. Tight ends have also been right up there killing y'all all year long. What linebackers going to run down that field? None of them. Keep going, play. We're going to get into this later. We're going to get into this. Me and you going to get into this. I like the Eagles plus nine and a half. It's supposed to be raining. So you a fan one, of? the number one Russian offense. Mm. You a fan of the who? I think we grind a power. Who you a fan of? The Eagles. All right. Super Bowl. You said, well, yeah. and well, you well, took that cover. That's a little rough. You took the cover, right? Yeah, yeah plus nine and a half. half. Plus nine and a half. You took the plus still, nine? We still lose. So we won't beat y'all by 10? No. Y'all ain't beat by 10 last time. All right, no. go to your next pick. I like you. 24 Take, 17 cool. birds. Me and your pop <laughs> gonna rumble. <laughs> me and your cool. Me and him gonna rumble, but me and you cool. Come on. Right, four four o'clock game. Touchdown. Four o'clock game. Four o'clock game. No, one. No, I'm saying one o'clock. Four o'clock. Oh, okay. Next one. I do like the Niners plus three and a half versus Dallas. There we go. Talk that shit. Garoppolo. Nobody can stop uh, Debo. Debo, uh, baby. Diggs has allowed a thousand plus yards Debo. receiving this year. He is a gambler of the picks. They picked him with their heart. Dallas really can't stop the run. It's going to be a shootout, you but like I think that. the Niners come out on top. No, I, like, I like the Niners. I like the Niners. I really do. Your mortgage. Who would you bet? Niners. You will. You be homeless tomorrow. Who you bet? Niners. <laughs> In this game, I ain't saying they win the Super Bowl. Yo, go ahead, finish. Don't sleep with the Niners. No, finish. We're going to get into our set. Me and you going to rock with it. All right. It's whatever. My next one. I like the Chiefs and the Steelers under 46. I think the minus 12, I think a lot of people are downplaying the Steelers. I just think after they play them, I think Mike Tomlin, as a great of a coach he is, can. Um, I still think they lose, though. The only black coach in the NFL right now. Mm-hmm. Right now. Yeah. We, right? We can save yeah. that for the other part, too. No, we can get in that later. So like that's 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 a two hours. I think uh, Kansas City comes out a little slow. Steelers, their offense is is, is questionable. Uh, Najee Harris is questionable. Um, but I think he'll play. It's a big time game. That's why you're going with the under. So I like the under 46. Um, my next one, Monday night. I do like the Rams minus four versus the Cardinals. I don't think Hopkins is playing. I don't think J.J. Watt's playing. Uh, Rams is brought back. Eric uh, Weddle. I don't think he's going to make a difference, though, but I like the Rams minus four. That's it for your playoff picks. Hey, man, you leave, your, leave your responses under the comments. Let us know if y'all placed a bet and you won anything. Let us know if you lost. We're here for your enjoyment. This is all fun. This is what we do here at the Superstars of Sports Podcast.